Hey guys, welcome back. This is a uh, training session three for the children's ministry at Calvary Chapel Laguna Creek. And uh, we're going to be looking at some of the general policies for the classroom, uh, pre-sign in, sign in, and worship. So if you could go ahead and uh, pull your manual out. And we're going to be looking at pages six and seven. Your manual should look something similar to this. All right. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to take these things kind of in a sequence of before people arrive and then as people arrive and then what we what happens next. It will kind of go step by step. So the first step is going to um, be our pre-sign-in time. And uh, we have a little bit of a time schedule, basically. And that is uh, we should arrive about 15 minutes before. And uh, during that time, what we want you to do is... Uh, Check your room, make sure everything's ready to go. Get your name badge and your um, apron on and uh, just be ready to start uh, greeting people. And then as you get that done, we'll start receiving uh, the kids as they come. Uh, this is uh, kind of the early time is typically when our um, new families start coming. They usually come earlier than the rest of the, the normal crew. And so it's a great time to meet new families, meet the new kids and really make them feel welcome. So getting there early is really important. And then uh, about 10 minutes till uh, our the start time, we uh, try to have a, just a short time of prayer to just ask the Lord to fill us with the Spirit, to direct us, and to use us. Um, usually we also have, um, if there's any announcements, I'll usually use that time to uh, mention some things too to all the teachers and helpers. And then after that, um, it's just a really important time to engage with the kids. As the kids get signed in, they start going into the worship room, and it's just a great time to have a little one-on-one -on -one time with them. So uh, that's kind of our pre-sign-in time. And then going from there, we go to our sign-in time. And uh, our kind of pre-sign-in goes, kind of flows and overlaps a little bit with our sign-in time. And I wanted to just talk a little bit about the purpose of why we have sign-in sheets at all. Um, there's actually a few reasons why. Um, one is to make a real clear delineation of when we're starting to watch the, uh, the family's kids and then when they're watching their kids. So the sign-in sheet gives us a real um, kind of neat way of saying, hey, um, Jill is your responsibility starting right now. And then when the parent comes back to pick up Jill, then that Jill is now the responsibility of the parent. So that's one of the purposes. The next purpose for the sign-in sheet itself is so that we have like a, a list of who's supposed to be in our class to make sure that, hey, all the kids that are signed into us, we know where they are, they're in our class, and, and we, um, we kind of have that list of, of who all that is. So those are some of the purposes for our sign-in uh, sheet. And so during the sign-in time, we have a, a, a table that we have all of our sign-in sheets at, um, this is going to be for all the kids that are four years old and up. We have a kind of a separate thing for the twos and threes, which we'll talk about in a moment. But this time is really important to just greet the families and greet the kids and make them feel welcome, make them feel loved and cared for. And, uh, you know, just it kind of goes without saying, but smile, be interested, that type of thing. Just the love that's inside of your heart from Jesus towards people. That's a great it's, it's a great time to kind of let that come through. Um, we also want to assist the parents in signing their kids uh, to make sure that they're in the right class, um, that uh, they're, you know, that type of thing, answer any questions that they might have. Uh, we do have some problems sometimes with the parent and the child isn't there together when they're signing them in. We've had times where a kid signs himself in and goes, uh, goes on to the next step, and then the parent comes after them and signs them in, and so we'll have some duplicates, and then that throws off our numbers, and it kind of alerts us like, hey, we're missing a kid, or we have too many kids, or what's going on? So it's important that we kind of make sure it's a real clean, you know, this kid is getting signed in, the parents there, they know, and it's a real clean, um, uh, you know, transition. All right, next is uh, we also want to ask, especially with the, you know, new kids that we meet or whatever, if they have any unique needs or things that we should know about. Uh, maybe the kid's been having a bad morning, or maybe um, maybe they have uh, autism or something of that nature. And it's a good time to ask and say, hey, are there any needs um, that are here? Do they have any food allergies or things? Just all those types of things that are going to help us do a better job of being effective with the kids. Um, next up is we want to make sure that the kids are healthy. 
okay, if they're sick, they're coughing, their noses are running, or that type of thing, they don't need to be in children's ministry. They should probably be at home with their, with their family and just resting and getting better. We don't want to infect the rest of the kids. So um, in some of the age levels, we have kind of a health card that kind of takes you through, like, hey, you know, uh, have, you, have they had a runny nose for the last, in the last 24 hours or whatever. It has kind of a checklist to see, um, just to kind of verify that the kids are healthy. And that just helps sometimes with um, trying to not argue with the parents, but just say, hey, are these conditions, um, you know, are they healthy? All right. Now, what happens when we sign the kids in? They're going to put their name, uh, their age. Uh, they're going to put the time. Um, the, all the lists now, I think, have if there's a food allergy or whatever. Um, now, with the twos and threes, or the two and three-year-olds, they're going to go right to the th two and three-year-old class. They're going to have a sign-in sheet right there, and they sign the kid right into the classroom. Okay, so that's how that works. The kids that are older, starting at four years old and up, the four years old through fourth grade, there is a sign-in table in the hallway, and it has all the sign-in sheets for those age levels, and the kids get signed in um, at that point. Once they're signed in, the kids are going to go directly into the children's ministry worship room. Okay, so right from the table to the worship room and uh, just directly from there. Um, now, with the fifth and sixth grade, we sign them in at the table, but then those kids are going to go not to the children's ministry uh, worship room. They're going to go all the way back to the fifth and sixth grade class, and they have their own special worship time back there. All right, so that's the sign-in time. Let's go ahead and move forward in the morning to or the evening, depending on what uh, service we're serving at, uh, to the worship time. The worship time is where the kids are going to they're going to sing songs to the Lord. They're going to be together. and It's a big group. And um, so what are the things that uh, you should be doing as a teacher or helper? First of all, we want you to be an example of a worshiper. Okay? So we want you to be worshiping Jesus, singing to him, and uh, closing your eyes or raising your hands or those types of things that I'm, I'm trying to express my heart to the Lord. Um, another thing that we need to be doing is we need to help the kids be focusing on Jesus during that time as well. It's so easy for them to get distracted. They're with their friends. They're excited, and they want to play and be silly and all those things that kids like to do. Um, but we want to try to keep them focused on the worship. We want to keep them focused on Jesus. So how can we do that? Well, first of all, we can sit near them. By having an adult sitting by them, a lot of times that helps them to have a little bit more self-control to do the thing that they know that they should be doing. So that's helpful. Um, sometimes even if you're sitting by them or even if you're not sitting by them, um, just giving them a light touch can be really helpful for them to go just kind of like re alert them and say, hey, you know, uh, oops, I, I'm distracted or whatever. And so just a light touch sometimes can be enough for them to n remember or recognize or kind of be alerted like, oh, I, you know, I need to get focused back on the singing. Um, sometimes just a soft verbal correction. So a lot of times I'll just touch a child lightly on the shoulder and say, hey, let's get, get our focus back on the singing or let's focus on the worship leader or whatever. And uh, just something gentle and soft as we, we don't want to yell at them or we don't have to raise our voice or whatever. Just And that often really works. Um, now, if those things don't work, uh, maybe kids having a bad morning or whatever, um, it's a good time to move them. And so we want to move them from maybe they're sitting by someone that's it's just too tempting to sit by this. Maybe it's their best friend or whatever, and they just can't help themselves but talk or touch each other or whatever. So we want to move them. Now, we're not going to drag them or whatever. We're just going to say, hey, why don't you come over here? I want you to sit here by me or whatever. And just move them away from that tempting situation that they're in where they're having difficulty focusing on the worship. Okay? So this is our worship time. Uh, so we looked at pre-worship, or I'm sorry, uh, pre-sign-in time, sign-in time, and then the worship time. Next time when we get together, the next session will be on what we do after the worship time which is where we take the kids to the restroom and kind of our policies and procedures for that.